Hey guys, that Mikey my back here from the video guys. Welcome to another video where we're gonna make some coins and we're gonna open up some get a player packs. You guys seem to freaking love this series. You guys seem to love when we open this up. So if you guys love it, we're gonna continue opening these up and talking about random subjects about Madden. So if you guys have not done your solos already and you have not done any of the objective lists for the current playoff promo, you will actually see, uh, well, if you start doing it, you actually see that you get these play all of these Super Bowl prep tokens. Now, I know a lot of people have been commenting down below saying, what are these prep tokens? I saw it over Twitter. People are very confused about these prep tokens. Well, guys, pretty much what the prep tokens are is that they are a way when the Super Bowl promo does come out for you to be able to actually get um, some of these Super Bowl players. So most likely my guess would be with the prep tokens, is this going to be probably four or five of those prep? Well, probably, I'll say up to 10 prep tokens. We'll probably get you like an 85 plus overall elite player pack that gives you like an 85 plus, you know, player from the Super Bowl promo. Now, with the Super Bowl promo in the past, what we have seen is we have seen pr the promo in, uh, come with, you know, different types of present and past Super Bowl legends. So maybe we could see like a James Harrison card. We could see. Some really, really great Super Bowl players. Maybe a Kurt Warner. I don't know if we have a Kurt. I don't think we have a Kurt Warner in this year's game yet. So possibly that. So I'm very excited about that, guys. There will be a video sometime very shortly on the channel about the Super Bowl promo predictions. What to expect. You guys know whenever there's a new promo that is on the horizon, this channel, we always cover that certain promo. So I'm excited about seeing what ends up happening when it comes to Super Bowl promo. But we have to wait and see on that. Also, guys, um, you know, other than the Super Bowl promo, Team of the Year, like I said, is something that we're also going to be looking at. Um, we also did predictions for already. And I don't know. I mean, we're getting to that time of the year, man, where it's going to kind of get a little bit bland, you know, a little bit kind of, I don't think completely out of it, like when it comes to content, but it's definitely the time of the year where EA starts taking a little bit more of a break on Madden. And obviously they started working on Madden 22, probably once the Christmas, uh, I would say once next gen release. So probably December 3rd, you know, was when they went really hard on working on Madden 22. So I think it's going to be, I know next week we're starting off the content again, finally starting content back, but, um, I don't know how they're going to, how much they're going to put effort wise. Uh, but let's see if something real fast. So we got this 900 coins. Like I said before, guys, how this method works is if it's like I say 800 coins or less, I automatically put them into the team of the week set um, for 80, 76 plus for the other ones. We'll say for example, the silver cards, if it's a power up, most of the time it goes for something like that's 6,000 coins. That's an auto dub right there. But if it doesn't go for anything, we just put them in the exchange set and we upgrade it. And so far I've been actually making a lot of coins doing this. Now again, I know it takes some time. It's not easy to go ahead and, uh, you know, I mean, it's not easy, easy, but it takes some time to actually get these done. Now these silvers, that's like 19, 24, 27K, they're actually selling for a lot. And uh, mainly because if you want to do like a Washington football team right now, or theme team, you have to go ahead and get these silver cards to get that, you know, number 50, uh, get 50 at 50 for team chem. So a lot of people are, are trying to buy these and they're actually selling for a good amount of coins especially if you see them posted like that undercut it by a lot and a lot of times what someone would do is come in and again if they're trying to do the theme team they buy that card and bam you make some good profit you can even put it up for like eight hours and most of the time it will sell um but what i've seen though based on like that is these silvers actually do sell like they actually do sell and you can actually sell them for a good amount of coins and actually make a good amount of uh, profit just looking at my auctions real fast. Let's go to newest and let's take a look at how much we are actually selling for. So again, like I said, keep in mind, if I go ahead and open up that pack for 500 coins, right? That's four times my profit back, 2000 coins. Three times my profit back, 1500 coins, two times, pretty much two times, one and a half, one and a half, three times. That is, uh, they roughly, uh, 22 times my profit, five times my profit. You guys are seeing like, I'm not kidding. When I say do this method, 
You're going to make coins. You're going to make coins. Like these are all cards I'm pulling out of this set. Now I'm out of these packs. Now, again, you have to be a little lucky. Obviously, that's just how it works. You're not going to, you know, if you have zero luck, you know what I mean? You're not going to make coins. But again, it's all based on random luck. The 86 overall, I actually pulled out of the team of the week uh, pack that I'm showing you guys that I do uh, when I go ahead and get the uh, 76s. So, for example, uh, let's see if Rick Wagner actually goes for something. If he doesn't, I'll put him into the team of the week. Uh, okay, so he goes for like 10K pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much guaranteed right there, profit. Um, this card goes to 1200 coins. I'll put him in the team of the week thing. I think we're almost done that team of the week right here. Team of the week, uh, 78 to 86 overall, uh, week one. We put that into there and then we continue on, um, again. Then we eventually will get a pack and that pack we could get again. We got Stefan Gilmore at one time. He's automatically a dub. I mean, that's 21,000 coins. <laughs> so that definitely is a huge W, especially because the only cards I put in there a 500 coins each and if you think about that profit wise it's around 3,000 coins for a eight for 21,000 coin returned so that's automatically a w all right here we go so we got 75 79 let's see what we pull out this one this is the exchange set like i always do and okay so let me see i'm gonna put okay i he actually might go for a little bit more i'm not gonna check his price i'm gonna try to see if we can, we can get this set done we should be very close to getting this uh team in a week set done and the sets I do personally, guys, like I've always said, is I do the one team in the weeks over here. Week one is the one I do a lot of times. Okay, so I'm one away. Literally one away. All right, let's see. Um, We'll just put this in here just for crops and giggles. So if I pull this, when I pull this pack, right, when I do this, normally I do 500 coins each, so it's a 3,000 coin pack, right? Spend 3,000 coins on this pack right here. But for 76... Most of the time they sell for around 3,000 coins. I make profit. I mean, I make you know, my coins back. If it's at 80, I make obviously they sell for around 4,500. 4, Anything above that, even more. Let's see what I pull out of this. Come on. Give me lucky, yay. Give me some luck. Okay. So, unlucky right there. But again, even if I pull Ryan Kerrigan, he's still going to sell for more than 3,000 coins. And that's what I put in there is cards that go 500 to 1,000. So right there, okay, he's like 3,800 coins. So he's definitely a profit. That last card I put in there might have been stupid. <laughs> that might have been stupid. I just tried to do that to show you guys that, again, that's what we do when we go ahead and get those cards. We just put them in that set right there. So, um, all right, so what cards are we going to sell? We're going to sell 2,500 coins right there. Do that real fast. Hopefully I didn't put that expensive uh, card in there. <laughs> I was just getting like I'm just saying. I'm just trying to put I'm putting a random card in there. Uh Wick Ragnar. How much do you go for again? Okay, you're the expensive card. Alright, so 9,500 coins. And I'm thinking about it, and when I'm learning, and again, I'm adjusting this method as we go on, and as you know, I'm learning more and more about it, is that sometimes the silver cards it, it gets to a point where they don't some of them do not sell. I mean, not the higher overall ones, the ones that obviously are like posted for a lot. I'm talking about the ones that are like eight, nine hundred coins. They sometimes they sell after an hour, sometimes they don't. So sometimes you're better off just kind of, you know, putting them in the same set and upgrading them and hoping to pull power up. Because if you pull a power up, most of the some of the power ups are very inexpensive and they're kind of worthless. But there are a lot of power ups that go for a lot of coins. So again, you're able to actually make a lot of coins. And especially if you pull one of these power ups as you saw this video, we put a power up, a power up of 6,000 coins. So that mean making coins back. That's easy. 78 punter. That's probably going to go for a lot because punters go for a decent amount of coins. That's not bad, especially gold punters. Um, okay. Tavon Young. He's probably going to be an exchange that guy. Actually, no, Tavon Young will probably go for something because he's a theme team guy. Uh, again, these theme teams like the Ravens, like the Packers, like the um, Seahawks and the Eagles. These are theme teams, the popular theme teams. So there will be these cards will actually go for something. Uh, if it's a free agent card, probably nothing, honestly. Um, but I still like to wait and see, you know, like even though this, okay, it's a halfback Panthers, Panthers, not really that popular. I mean, they have um, Steve Smith and all now, but it's not that, that popular of a theme team. 
49ers, definitely. I think that was Dolphin, actually, Matt Breeden now. But uh, Dolphin's not really a popular theme team. Uh, but 49ers is. So if you find a 49er and the gold or silver, you could definitely make some coins back. I'll make some coins off that. Now, like I said before, I've been told and I've seen on Twitter that people pulled 85 pluses out of this. I don't know if you can. I so far have opened up probably 300 uh, packs and I've only pulled at best of 84. I'm not sure if you can pull over an 84, but I've been showed and told you can. So I'm just going to go with the analogy of me with the idea that you can. And I just have gotten really, really unlucky. <laughs> so with Jay, listen, you guys see my bundles on the channel. You guys know I definitely do get unlucky. It's not the first time that I'm going to get unlucky in this game. So <laughs> it's going to happen and it's going to be a thing. So it's possible. I'm just getting unlucky or it's possible. You can't, I don't know. I definitely do not know, uh, but we'll kind of, you know, I'll get back to you guys as we do these videos more and more. And we see if, you know, we get a little lucky and we, if once we pull 185, it's GG. I mean, we automatically know that we can, but according to the pack, it does say 81 plus. So it doesn't say anything about 85s. I know that a lot of people told me, oh, here we go. 84 overall. John Hanna. So I, and maybe, maybe that's, that's the top. I know a lot of people told me that after the next series update, which is next Friday, that we're going to be seeing a, um, what's go. We're going to be seeing, uh, 85 to 86 overalls in these packs, which, Hey, I mean, if that's the case, that would be fun. That would be definitely fun to, uh, you know, pull these packs and have a better chance of pulling a higher overall card, even if 85, 86, but if you pull an 86, I mean, you're instantly making so much more coinage. So I'm hoping one of these videos, we can actually pull that so we can kind of put the, you know, idea to rest what, um, the highest overall of these packs are. I don't think EA has that put out any statement about that. So we kind of just have to go off what a mouth mouth when it comes to this. Um, but it's all right. Let's see what we get. Okay. Silver. And okay. So let's see how many of those elites sell for Cause I think we might be able to, make some decent um coins off those elite cards so let's see what we got here we got 84 hannah and that's around 6700 coins that's not bad at all uh again when you spend 500 coins on the pack that's why this method is beautiful because <laughs> you can't get mad when you're like oh i got a 6500 coin card yeah you spent like nothing on the pack i mean that's 10k right there and that's like i mean that's an insane profit I won't try to do the math in my head right now. It's like 3.43 in the morning. And I got to get up early because of Ravens game. But like I said, these kickers usually go for some 3,500 coins. Yeah, they usually go for some of these kickers and punters. If it's a higher raw kicker and punter, you're probably going to find that you're going to be at least somewhat valuable because of the fact that people just honestly don't really care about kickers and punters. And then eventually they're like, oh, I pick one up. And yeah, they usually like a good amount of coins. A lot of times people quick sell these cards, so... They usually sell too. Usually kickers and punters actually do sell. Uh, Tavon Young, did he, he goes for nothing. Okay. I kind of figured he went for nothing, but it's always a chance he goes for something. Uh, he is a theme team type player. Ravens theme team. Cornerbacks though, they do have Ray, they have uh, Dion, they have Rod Woodson, and I think, I want to say they have Malden Humphreys, obviously. They got Jimmy Smith, and they got Marcus Peters. So they have a, they have a good amount of corners. So that's not a guy you really, really need is another cornerback. You're going all time Raven squad. So I understand why he just currently is not that pop. Oh, he's not that much coins. He was a lot of coins back in Mad uh, uh earlier Madden. Um early Madden. A couple months ago. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> he was very much popular because again, it is there wasn't a Rod Watsons and the Dion Sanders. Of the world so a little bit more popular back then um okay not bad like i said so a lot of times what i'll do is i'll just kind of go through these as i'm opening these packs i'll go ahead and just sell the golds and kind of you know if i need to upgrade something upgrade something i'll sometimes just go through and be like okay with the silver cards any of these go for 500 coins if they do automatically they're gonna get upgraded if they don't what i like to do is like for 6500 coins is i'll come and leave them there 
and then I'll come back after everything goes in the exchange sets. Everything is sold from that department. And then I'll come back and then I'll sell these cards. I mean, I'll put the yeah, put these cards up for like eight hours, something like that. Just because I kind of want to, you know, group the cards that actually have no value, get rid of them, and then come back to the cards that might have value, might look up a price or two and see what they're actually selling for, that kind of stuff. And then I'll kind of go on from there. But a lot of these cards, you know, there's going to be exchange set cards. And hopefully we pull a power up card with the exchange sets. Um, and that's kind of where we go on from there because there's no point really in all honesty to sell some of these cards because they might sell and they probably would sell, but I mean, you're talking about an hour to sell a card for 500 coins. I'd rather just exchange him and see if I can get a, you know, a power up that might go for like 10,000, 20,000 coins. You never know. These power ups actually do go for a decent amount. And currently that power up I put up did not sell yet. Sad. No, I'm just kidding. It, it will sell. These power ups usually sell quickly, especially if you undercut the card a lot. It will sell quickly, but sometimes I don't do that because you guys know we have time. We have time to make that coinage, make those coins. We don't need to always undercut people. We can just simply, the card will sell. <laughs> people will buy that card. It's not like it's a card that people want Raheem Mostert. Not a, it's not a Matt Ryan card. Where honestly, you only buy Matt Ryan power up is if you're trying to do a theme team for Falcons. So, which I might eventually go back into the theme teams, maybe do a Ravens theme team again, especially now because they have so many players who are actually pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave on that Nathan card just because I don't know if it actually does go for a little bit more. I gotta research a little bit more on that card. Uh, and I don't want to put that card in the power up set. I mean, sorry, an upgrade set yet again some of these cards they go for a little bit of coinage you never know i'm not going to i gotta see what the card sells for myhead.com is a great resource to see what a card sells for the only issue is that a lot of times people will post these silvers and they'll try to sell coins using these silvers which is not smart because you get banned but with them in mind that's what they do so i gotta be careful though because the price tag sometimes of cards a little all over what they should be because of that exact reasoning. So kind of just go on from there. All right, let's see. All right, 2,200 coins and so on and so on. I think we have some upgrade packs open now. Yep, we do. It's 70 to 74 overall. So we got this one. It's not a power up. It's not, it's not an elf. It's not a power up. It's just kind of a, <laughs> it's kind of an L. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of an L. If it's not a power up card, we pull, we're kind of ticked off about it. Um, and most likely it'll probably go back right back in the exchange chat if it's not a power up. The power up, it's an automatic W, and we're excited about that. With that in mind, guys, I'm gonna end off this video here. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and comment down below. Also, guys, make sure you check out my That Mutt Gamer 2 channel. We upload content too. Mutt content on both channels, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.